Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess and today I wanted to talk about how to use humidifiers for your houseplants or to increase humidity for your houseplants. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about kind of the how the humidity measures of what are safe levels for you to kind of what keep in mind um, when you're using humidifiers to make sure that you're staying safe and creating a safe environment for yourself because there are risks to using humidifiers. Um, I also wanted to talk about the differences in humidifiers just so that you can make an educated choice when you're purchasing a humidifier. And I wanted to go over this humidifier. This is the High Life humidifier. I'm going to, at the end of the video, go through the setup, the unboxing, how to clean it, how to use this humidifier specifically. If you have found that you would like to provide a humidifier, so for me, I love alocasias, and so they definitely need a little bit of extra humidity. Um, you have two options, and this will be listed in the description, um, and some of them will be both. But when you're choosing a humidifier, you will see the terms cool mist or warm mist. And I wanted to go through those really quick and kind of describe the difference. So with warm mist humidifiers, they push the water into the environment through evaporation. And so it heats up the water, it evaporates, and it goes into the atmosphere. More energy is typically required for these. However, the water is purified in the process. And so you don't necessarily need to be as picky by what water you put in your humidifier. Cool mist humidifiers, on the other hand, which is what this High Life one is, uses ultrasonic um, technology and uses the vibration to get the water into the air. And so it pushes the cool mist out instead of evaporating it into the environment. So the nice thing is, is they typically take less energy. However, you do need to be a little bit carefuler. You, you do need to be a little bit more careful on what water you put into your humidifier with this because it will just be pushing that water straight out into the air. And so I recommend using distilled water when you're using cool mist humidifiers. It will decrease your risk of certain illnesses such as like Legionella, um, but it will also keep your machine in working order a lot longer. Uh, there won't be as many maybe calcium deposits that are found in maybe like our tap water or different things like that. So it'll keep a lot of the minerals out and it'll keep your machine happier a lot longer. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is just your humidity levels in general and how they can affect your house. So typically above 50% in your home environment does activate mold growth. So try to keep that in mind when you're setting your humidifier up and making sure that your overall house environment is not exceeding that amount. The real risk comes after about 70%. That's where the mold growth is really gonna exponentially increase and you're going to have issues. Um, but 50% is probably good enough for your house plants, good enough for you and keeps your house at a safe level. So that's probably what I would recommend. These humidifiers do, do go up a lot higher and you can set the level to whatever you want it to be. However, if you're putting this in say your living room or an area where you have a lot of plants, that's where I would, unless the area is protected um, so that there is nothing that can grow mold on, so like no porous surfaces, um, I would recommend keeping it at that 50% mark. So I did want to talk about the features of this machine specifically. So if you turn it on, there is a little smiley face that will come up and that is indicating that you are um, within a good humidity range um, for your environment. Um, there will be a little water with droplet with a cross through it if you are low. This is how you set your humidity. It will be the maximum humidity that it'll set it to. Um, again, I don't recommend really going over that 50, but um, the minimum is 40. So I'm going to set it at 50 here. And then you do have, um, this is the automatic symbol, but you do have different levels of mist that you can set it to. Um, if you would prefer to just push out 
a lot of mist instead of a specific humidity level. Um, so those are two separate features. Um, and then if you have this in say your bedroom and you would like the light to shut off, you can click this button and it will turn off the light, but the machine will keep going and um, the settings will stay the same. And you just can click that to turn it back on. You can see in there that it is pushing that water out. If you are using distilled water in your machine, then you rarely should need to clean your, um, this vessel. However, if you are using maybe sink water or something that might have more minerals in it, um, cleaning your machine regularly would be a very good idea just to make sure that the one, it's sanitary and it's not pushing anything out into the environment that could harm you, but two, um, to make sure that it's functioning properly. So in order to do that, the nice thing about this high life humidifier is the valve that keeps the water in and out. It seems to be very sturdy and it doesn't create a mess. A lot of humidifiers, when I like take the water tank off, um, water will just like pour and get everywhere and it's just kind of a disaster. One thing that is really nice about this is that it doesn't really leak. The base does have a few components in it. There's this little flap, there's a little water in here, so I don't wanna tip it too much. There's this little flap. Um, they recommend not using any detergents or anything to clean the machine um, and just something soft. So maybe like a cloth and just kind of going over with some clean water. Um, if your machine is having issues and maybe has like smells or isn't functioning properly, in their manual, they do have a descriptive um, descriptive ways of how to clean it with maybe like vinegar if you need something a little bit more like abrasive I guess or um, like a deeper clean however um, just like clean water and a nice soft cloth should do the trick with this um, you shouldn't need anything too crazy to clean this out the nice thing about this high life humidifier is that it is really easy to refill there's nothing that needs to be flipped i've had a lot where you have to completely take off the tank and flip it upside down and fill it from the bottom and not only does that spill water everywhere um, but it also does make it much more challenging and if you have a little water in there um, it can become heavy so if you are someone who can't physically lift um, certain things like this and especially when you need to try to prevent spilling um, something where it is a top fill humidifier is definitely a lot easier and handier for for your environment the only thing that i did want to mention with this machine that was um difficult was the electrical cord what box was in the chamber itself and that did make it a little bit more challenging to get out um i really struggled with getting that piece of the product out of the chamber. Um, so, you know, packaging might be able to be a little bit better. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I will try to get to them. I will include links down to the products in my description box um, and some more information in there if you guys are interested in using humidifiers in your home. Otherwise, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really supports my channel, if you will. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.